project this has been so far. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. It's a Friday morning and it's 27 degrees out. My husband took the day off because today we're putting up the hoop house. We've never put up a hoop house. We've never put up a hoop house. I can't say hoop house. My mouth is too cold. We've never put up a hoop house before, but we've been watching some of the videos that Farmer's Friend has on their YouTube channel, and we've been reading the instructions. And when I say we, I mean Brad. <laughs> Mostly he's been reading the instructions, but he thinks he's got a handle on the situation, and the two of us are gonna be able to put it up today. Now, this is not something that I wanted to wait this late for. It's November 4th. We usually, I mean, we could really realistically get a snowstorm yesterday tomorrow like normally that's what happens this time of the year but we had other things that were that were priorities like this hoop house is not really a priority this fall it was like a let's hope we get it up this fall so that i can plant in it early because realistically we could have put this up in march but we'll see we're just going to try and get it done today oh brad's out here So this hoop house is 16 by 50, so it's not huge, it's just a nice spot. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put my ranunculus in there in early spring, probably late winter, more likely. So anyway, it was it's from Farmer's Friend and it's the Gothic style with extra bracing and stuff like that because we live in snow country, number one, and also we live on top of this hill that gets really high and strong wings. So, winds, did I say wings? The hill has wings. So it's gonna go right here, <laughs> this little section right here. Uh, so wish us luck. We hit a little bit of a roadblock. We ended up here, Brad's bringing the actual uh, hoop house supplies over. So apparently the telephone line was running through this area. We didn't hit it, but we came pretty close to it. So we shifted a couple of feet over and now we're getting the actual supplies together. He just tilled up that area so that's nice and fresh for us to add compost to and plant when I'm ready to do so. So now <laughs> we have to put the rebar in the ground and uh, get this party started. Here is how everything can be packaged on the pallet. This is the rebar. This is what we're going to need first, I guess. Everything is pretty clearly labeled as to what it is. This is kind of what makes it the gothic one. Like it's this shape on top and not rounded. So I've been digging down several feet in order to get rocks out of holes because the rebar keeps hitting rocks. So because of this rock situation, uh, there are some boulders that are about three feet down that I just can't get out. We're not gonna take the time to get them out. So we went and picked up some bags of concrete and there are about five rebar stakes that are gonna need to have concrete poured into them just to make sure they're secure. I mean, it's still gonna be three feet into the ground, but just to make sure.
didn't notice that there were two of them on there. Okay, another one. I'm just like admiring this thing. It almost, it's like getting me a little choked up because of how long I thought about having one of these and how much it could mean for my business. So it's pretty cool. So it's the end of day two. I just came out here to grab my camera because it's been out here all day. Um, wow. To describe day one to you would be to describe like a horror movie. <laughs> my father said to me, good luck with that, when I told him where I was putting it because he built a house here and he ran electric lines through this field and he said, there are rocks every six inches. He wasn't kidding. When you have to drive rebar into the ground several feet and there's a rock every six inches, that makes for fun and games. So we used the tractor to get some of them. And then it was just, you know, I felt bad for Brad because he had taken a vacation day to help me put this up. And it was, it was a nightmare. He was getting so frustrated because this is not his project, it's my project. And when you're trying to pound rebar stakes into the ground and it's just like, you get four inches and you poof. So I'm like digging it out, digging it out. And I ended up spending four hours digging out small rock between, you know, the size of a tennis ball and the size of a soccer ball. And then you've got some like small car rocks <laughs> to get out. Anyway, um, it was definitely uh, not the day project we had anticipated. Was it the worst thing in the world? If you ask me, no. If you ask Brad, yes. So as many of you know, I ended up getting very sick shortly after this and I've been sick for about a month. Turns out I was diagnosed with pneumonia and uh, I've been treated for that and stuff like that and I'm feeling much better now. But so several weeks passed in between when we put up the posts and when we were able to put the plastic on because of my sickness and the weather. So my father-in-law came over and helped us do this the other day. So here is the final step of the hoop house. The hoop house I purchased is a Gothic Pro, so it comes with extra things for wind protection because we do have high winds here, as I said earlier. So it comes with nylon ropes that go crisscross over the top, and it has um, little pieces that you attach it to at the very bottom. We I did not purchase an end cap to build like an end cap with a door and stuff like that. They were actually out of stock. So hopefully sometime soon, they'll be back in stock. I, I honestly haven't checked the website lately, so they might be back in stock, but I'm not worrying about putting a door frame or anything on right now. That'll be a, a spring slash summer project. I can just crawl underneath the plastic for the time being, so I'm not worried about it. But we did end up securing it as well on the ends with putting sandbags on the extra plastic and kind of like bundled it up. And we did have a major windstorm here the other day. We had gusts over 35 miles an hour and it was perfectly fine. So I'm hoping that this will hold up in our weather. Anyway, thanks guys for sticking around and uh, more videos coming your way soon. See you soon. Come to me, my animal friend. <laughs> Yeah, the new ones are afraid of me. Not my hey hey. Not my hey hey. Hi. Oh, oh my goodness, Brad. Oh. <laughs> got that on video. Huh? <laughs> I got that on video. <laughs> really want to know what my other Amazon package is. What the heck did I order? I don't even want to look in my phone because I want to be surprised. Ow, scratched my leg. I did not do a baton. <laughs>